The remains of late Mrs. Kathleen Uguchuku has been laid to rest in her family's compound at Nsogu Umunze in Urumba South local government area. The late Mrs. Uguchuku was aged 84. Correspondent Chukwemeka Modelim was there and now reports. The final journey of late Mrs. Ugotuku to the great beyond commenced with a burial service at her family's compound where the glorious choral choir from Oka praised God for the life of the deceased through songs. In his sermon, Mr. Onyebuchi Onwacho charged Christians not to be afraid of death, which he said is a necessary end for all mortals. He enjoined them to prepare for it by living a righteous life which will qualify them to make heaven and escape damnation after their sojourn on earth, even as he noted that the disease helped the needy which end her longevity. Our mom has spent her life and now she's no more. I don't we have our life to live, but we don't know when it will end. All is hope that we pray for a long life. But only the Naga to decide when to die and how many years to live is God to decide. But I you know when the given one will be never and no one will be going out to pay me book. And you are not going to die. Where should I go? Class. In a vote of thanks, one of the sons of the deceased, Mr. Chokwode Ugochuku, who was full of gratitude to God for blessing them with a godly mother as she raised him and his siblings in fear of God, he assured that they will immortalize her by emulating her life of honesty and selflessness. I don't even know where to start. I just give God all glory. She's 84. Do you get what I mean? I cried today. Not that um, I cried that I lost the mother. My Christian life is nothing to write home about, right? I will make her Christian life, her truthfulness, her motherly role, everything about I miss her so much. In her remarks, the second daughter of the deceased, Mrs. Ekwi Eze, described her as a great disciplinarian and home builder who catered for all her children and thanked God that their mother lived a fulfilled life. She was a very good woman, a virtuous woman of God. She raised us very well, she catered for us, and she took care of so many people, brought up so many people, and um, I felt that the best I can do is to honor her and lay her to rest. She was a good woman. I miss her, but I know that God found her worthy and called her to come and rest. And I'm grateful that she was able to live uh, to 84 years old. In their separate speeches, the Transition Committee Chairman of Orumba South Local Government Area, Chief Neville Uchendo, and one of the in-laws of the deceased, architect Michael Okonkwo, said she lived for humanity and enjoyed her children to emulate her lifestyle. The burial ceremony climaxed with dust-to-dust -dust performance by her children and relations. From Omunze, Chukwemeka Modelim, ABS News.